I'm Katie Collins. I'm 19. I'm from Charlotte, Tennessee. It's a different experience than I think most kids have, but it was my heaven on earth. When I think of peace, I instantly think of running on a dairy farm and like with my grandfather in the tractor, getting to feed cows. I think that kind of started my like independent girl boss moment. I'm like, I'm gonna carry this bottle all by myself and I don't need anyone to help me. No, Papa, I got it today. I live in a very rural community where you don't see a lot of biracial families. Growing up, I didn't feel like I was different. In my family, I was Katie. I was a silly kid who loved to play softball. But when you get like into school, you know that you're different. You see that you're different. And especially like in the ag world, there aren't many female farmers. And my grandfather encouraged me and empowered me to do it. But you don't, if you don't see it, it's really hard to be like, well, looking around this room, no one looks like me and no one's doing what I'm doing. So it was like. I was on state council and we have this thing called Ag Literacy Week in Tennessee where you go into schools and you read ag books. And before the book, I said, where does everyone think your food comes from? The store, my mama gets it for me. I was like, well, where does it come from there? I don't know, I guess. Chocolate milk comes from brown cows. My little girl said, wow, well, this is really cool, but I live in an apartment, I can't be a farmer. My mind is like, honestly, it was like, you don't have to be. Do you like tech? There's tractors that run on technology. Do you like finance? Farmers need loans. But that was the moment I was like, these kids need to know that that's an option. See Yourself in Ag connects world diverse youth to the agriculture industry as a whole to show kids what the agriculture industry looks like as a whole and not just the farm. I was a school board representative for my high school and so I knew who to contact to get a bus. My 4-H agent was like, we'll help find places to fund it. My grandfather was a very well-known farmer in Dixon. And everyone is so supportive that it wasn't hard to like convince people, say, hey, I wanna teach kids. They're like, all right, what can we do to help? <laughs> 4-H has given me the perspective of you deserve happiness and you deserve to be who you are. I hope I make people feel empowered to just chase their dream. And I want kids to like understand that you can do something even if you don't look like that. And I hope they remember that agriculture is for everybody. Like you can find something you want to do in agriculture.